Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, today we are testing every single mask on Amazon and specifically the Asakalin, Asakalin Disposable Protective Mask, non-medical. Uh, non-medical is not a thing in the United States, but it is a thing in China. Um, so that's why it's on there because these are, of course, Chinese masks. Now, uh, thank you, Rossio, for helping. Rossio is our head of finance, so he's here to make sure that like somehow this makes sense for us. <laughs> okay, this is a PFE machine. We are testing particulate filtration, but I'm also gonna give you my other opinions on this mask because it takes a couple minutes to run, and I'm here, so that's what I do. The single-use face mask with 3D design fits the face at all angles. That is a new marketing term that I'm hearing for the first time. It's 3D because it's in the world, it's 3D. Um, all right, so this is in a pouch design, which these types of pouches, just so you know, if you can kind of see through them like this, they aren't protective. So what I love uh, about this is that they actually put them in a separate bag. That's great, I love that. Um, but the bag has got a hole in it, so it's just like, a. am not sure why they put it in two bags in that case, that's kind of weird. Um, okay, we're doing the ear loop test. This is good. This is great. I can break it, but that was a lot of work. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this bad boy on. It feels smaller than normal. I don't know why. Now these were very affordable. They were the second cheapest mask, but the cheapest um, for a pack of 50. Uh, it's $8.49. That's really cheap, but I'm thinking what's going on here is I looked at the manufacturing date on here and anything that is a mask that's made in China is gonna have a manufacturing date um, on this little slip. It says uh, 6, 6 uh, 2020. Um, so this is actually kind of old. This is more than six months old. Uh, they're probably trying to get rid of these because the shelf life on these is typically, well, it says two years. And so now this one only has 18 months left. Um, you know, it's, it's not really like eggs or milk, but uh, they kind of frame it that way. And so because of that, like they, they do have to get rid of it. Um, now I'm smelling this. I'm going to have you, you try it as well. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to call this smell, um, eating at a restaurant bathroom <laughs> yeah like the the bathroom that the cooks use but overall like a good structure to a mask very basic mask very basic prices some of the best prices we've seen for a pack of 50 masks not terrible but does it protect you that's the question so this machine particulate filtration efficiency say that five times fast particulate filtration efficiency machine it will test uh, using 0.1 micron particulates, which is about the size of the coronavirus. So it's a great test uh, for this to see if it's going to uh, keep you safe. What do you think it came in at? So this is one of the cheapest masks. Cheapest mask. And what was the breathability? 91? It was... Uh, or 80? 80. 80 is extremely breathable. That's about maybe twice as breathable as, as ours. With 80, I'm going to give it like 85. 85? 91. 91.364. 91.364%. That's pretty good. Again, minimum standards in the United States is 95%. If you're looking for the best mask to protect you, look for an ASTM level three mask. You can buy those on Amazon. That means they've been tested by a machine like this. This makes no such claims and coming in at $8.49, which is a penny under 850, that's a pretty good deal. All right, guys, thank you for watching again. We're, we're testing every single mask on Amazon. So if you found this useful at all or, uh, or funny, or uh, if, if you just like the way Horacio's face looked, uh, when we got to peek at it for a second, um, give us a like, give us a subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. It would help justify doing all this work. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next test.